the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're here with the Boxing Bookie, um, new format of the show. Um, we're not going to do the, the news and takes anymore. I'm going to show you guys how to make money on bo- on gambling on boxing. I don't gamble, because that out there. Haven't gambled in years. Used to have a major gambling problem. I don't do it anymore. Uh, so gamble responsibly. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to take down the house in boxing. Boxing bookies, boxing odds makers don't know what they're doing. They have no clue. None. Uh, and I, I'm going to show you. And this is going to be a trial. And then next week, I'm going I'm to, I'm picking kind of an obscure fight, but I'm going to show you how, how you make money. If you follow this, week in, week out, you'll make money. Okay. Um, you know, um, you know, you're not everything is going to be a winner, but I, I can make you, I can show you how to make money on pretty much any card, right? The whole card. We're going to start with a pretty obscure fight. Um, there's a, a Frank Warren card, a Queensberry card on, um, on BT Sport in England. It's the Dennis McCann versus uh, Yannette Baluta fight. Yannette Baluta, am I saying that right? I'm going to go down. Take you to a prospect fight. Um, Ryan Garner versus Juan Jesus Antonet. Not the biggest names in the world, but I'm going to show you guys how you can make money on it. Okay. Um, it's, it's like I said. If you follow me, you can you can bring down you can bring down the house. You you can make money consistently, right? I'm not going to say you're going to bet a thousand. You're going to get everything right. You can make money. Consistently, if you follow this, you'll be up. Uh, again, I don't gamble, and I'm going to show you how to do this on DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas where I'm at, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain it. Okay, uh, the fight that we're looking at is uh, Ryan Garner, Juan Jesus Antonez. Now, what's interesting about this is there's not a ton on each guy. Uh, Garner is the prospect. He's he's the favorite. He's the A-side, so to speak. Um, but there's actually more tape on Antonez. Uh, Antonez is from Spain. He's uh, got a little more experience. Um, he, well, I guess they both have 13 fights. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's had tougher opposition. He's older. Um, he's a higher-rated guy by box track. That, that matters. Um, but this this is a, a fight between two guys who really there's not a whole lot there. Um, I, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna bet. I'll, I'll break down the fight first though. So Garner, like I said, Garner is the bigger prospect. You go through his box rack. There's really not much on it. His best win is back in 2021 against Pedro Manuel Gomez. That's it. That's his best win. Uh, besides that, there's really nothing on it. His last fight at Water of uh, Valverde, he hit him with a body shot. The guy's 3-10. and 10. He's got a win over Jordan Ellison, um, which was 60-54. to 54. If you go back and watch the fight, uh, Gar- Garner was cut. He was, he was in a difficult fight. 60-54, uh, maybe. You could also have 58-56. Like, there were rounds you could definitely score for, for Ellison. Um, and like I said, you go through his resume. That's really this is not a guy that's proven. Okay, so I'm gonna. He's not proven. He hasn't been in tough. He hasn't really been challenged. I, there's nothing really special about him. He doesn't have a whole lot of snap on his punches. He's not a big hitter. Um, he comes forward. Uh, he can box going backwards a little bit. Prefers to come forward. Not a puncher. Doesn't sit down on his punches. Doesn't turn his punches over. There's really he, he's pretty quick. He throws quick combinations. He throws clean, good, crisp combinations. But there's not much on him. They, they are pretty quick. He's 13 and 0 with seven knockouts, which is a decent knockout percentage. But he had five knockouts in his first six fights, six in his first nine, 
But if, if you do the math on that, in his last eight fights, his last eight wins, he's got just two knockouts. He's not a puncher. Uh, so keep that in mind. Who's he fighting? Juan Jose Juan Jesus Antonez, Spanish fighter. Quick again, not a puncher at all. Um, he, he, this is a close fight, and I'm gonna take you to the odds in just a minute. I'm gonna explain to you how you, you can clean up on this. 29 year old super featherweight. Um, his best win, Alicia Quesada. Uh, probably his best performance as well. Um, he's got another win in, in, in a weird performance um, against Adeniso Torres, where Torres got disqualified for spitting out his mouthpiece in what was a competitive fight. Um, he gets hit a lot. He does. Um, Antonez gets hit a lot. He's there to be hit. He gets tagged. He likes to come forward. Uh, he, can, he starts off early. Aggressively, the first couple of rounds, he'll come forward. Uh, you know, he rips shots and he leaves himself so wide open to be countered. He does take chances and he leaves himself wide open. His footwork is not good. He crosses his feet. He's just not a high level pro. I mean, he's not a terrible pro. He's a pretty good athlete. He's, he's got, got a good athleticism. Uh, you know, you can see that he's a good bounce in the step. He's quick. Um, but he, he, Overthrows his punches. He shows his punches. He's he's there to be countered. A good fighter, a good counter puncher, can have a field day with him. That's not really Ryan Garner. Ryan Garner really hasn't shown himself to be a counter puncher. Uh, he's also not a puncher, so he's not going to catch him with a magic left hook or something and put him to sleep. So I see this fight going the distance. Who wins? It's really closer to a 50 50 fight, right? And I'm going to show you the odds in just a second. And when I say it's a 50 50 fight, and the odds are this way. Garner really isn't it, and Garner may win the fight, but it's worth it to take this risk when I show you the odds. Antonez is plus 450. For those of y'all who don't know what that means, you bet a dollar, you win 450, which means the payout's 550, right? You get your dollar back. And then 450. So one plus 450, 550. That's the payout. And a fight that's pretty competitive. Um, neither guy has any wins on their resume. Now, this is a risk. You could lose this because I said it's, it's a close fight. However, if you bet on Ryan Garner, you got to bet $7 to win one. In a fight that's close and competitive, Garner's not good. Like, there's nothing special. There's nothing next level about him. He's not a future world champion. He's not a future hot top 10 guy. There's really not much there. He's 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 not beating anyone. Like I said, Antonis has the better wins. Uh, Antonis does have one loss, and it is a stoppage loss. He lost to Cristobal Lorente back in 2021. All right? Garner has no blemishes, but he's really fought no one. And, again, he's got – his knockout percentage is not terrible, but if you look at it as he's fought – better fighters, and he really has still hasn't fought anyone, and this will be the best guy he's ever fought. The knockouts just aren't there. So, to go the distance, pays minus 115. So that means if you bet a dollar, you win a dollar 86. So it pays out 86 cents on the dollar. So your bet is Jose Antonez on the money line, and then the fight to go the distance on. Uh, and this is this is on DraftKings. On um, Bet Online, you can pick it to go over eight and a half rounds. Which I, you're gonna get to sit about the same odds. Which I, I would definitely pick. Again, I can't bet. I'm in Texas. But what you want to do is you want to bet Antonez on the money line, getting uh, four fifty, and then you want to bet as a hedge. Uh, you, you, you want to take the the over. I, you want to take the fight to go the distance. That's your bet. Let me know what you guys think. And remember to follow me, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is it is now August 18th, 2023 uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.